Hello everyone, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today is, uh, the day's book is Zuzette and the Puppy. This is a story about a famous artist by the name of Mary Cassatt. The uh, author is J uh, Joan Sweeney and the illustrator is Jennifer Wharton. Suzette and the Puppy, a story about Mary Cassatch. No matter how cold the weather uh, in Paris, uh, Suzette's nursemaid, Marie, believed in uh, daily outings in the fresh air. That's how they first, uh, that's how they first happened to meet Nipper. One winter day, they were hurrying through the park, all bundled up when they saw a tall lady coming from the other direction. As they passed, a shaggy little head popped out of the lady's blue velvet muff. Suzette squealed in delight. It was the tiniest dog she had ever seen. The lady stopped and bent low so the little girl and her nanny could see the dog better. This is my new puppy, Nipper, uh, she told them. Isn't he sweet? The little dog cocked his head to the side, raised one ear, and glanced up at the sound of its name. Suzette was captivated, but Marie was telling her to say au revoir, which means to say goodbye in French, as, the, as she reluctantly uh, followed uh, the nursemaid home. Suzette ho hoped Nipper would be in the park the next day. Yet it was some months before they would uh, saw Nipper again. One afternoon, after a spring shower, Suzette and Marie noticed a strange sight on the path. A doll-sized yellow slicker uh, helped, uh, seemed to be marching through the mist. Uh, they soon realized it was the puppy, dressed for the rain. All he needs is an umbrella, said Marie, laughing. They watched him splash through the uh, puddle in his uh, miniature boots, tugging on the leash uh, his tall mistress held. Isn't Nipper's rain costume splendid, she said. They giggled at the words. As the days warm and uh, nature burst into bloom, Suzette and Marie frequently met the uh, other nursemaids in their small uh, charges in the park. Uh, to uh, everyone's delight, a handsome policeman was often there, too. The children uh, shrieked uh, with laughter at uh, puppet shows in the shade, of, uh, the shade of the trees and played hide-and-seek among the daffodils. They loved to sell their toy boats on a circular pond. But their greatest pleasure came from seeing the tall lady uh, and her little dog. Nipper would bark wi uh, wildly when a gust of wind uh, uh, sent the sails flying. Then he would dash along uh, shore with the tall lady racing behind him. Avor, said the police officer, would, uh, would say laughing. Uh, we should arrest the little fellow for disturbing the peace. Each noon when the church bells rang, Marie spread a, a cover on the grass. Then she, she and Suzette uh, shared a basket of croissants, cheese, and fruit. After that, uh, Suzette was expect, uh, expected to nap. But that day, Nipper created the, great, the greatest excitement that there was. No napping for anyone. It all began when someone tossed a rubber ball into the pond. Nipper's ears stood at attention as he watched it splash among the boats and uh, bob to the surface. Nipper, see plate, the tall uh, plate, uh, the tall lady uh, scolded, uh, gripping his leash his tiny tail twirled. Then it happened. Nipper broke away, took a, a headlong leap, and dove into the pond after the ball. Nipper! The lady screeched. Uh, Mon Dieu! Uh, uh, good gracious! In her excitement, 
she uh, mixed her French with her English. Nipper appeared to sink to the bottom. All around there were cries of her alarm. Save him, monsieur! Uh, Sylvia, uh, uh, Suzette uh, sobbed to the policeman. He will surely drown. Marie held her back. Nonsense, the pup can swim like a fish, she told her. Uh, every dog can. It is true. Nipper had surfaced and was calmly paddling toward the ball. But the policeman had already stripped off his uh, uh, cape and boots. Fear not, he shouted. I will rescue him. At that, uh, uh, at that, he held his nose and jumped into the pond with a huge splash, only, a hit, uh, only to hit the bottom with a thud, uh, for the water was only knee deep. By then, Nipper was heading toward shore. The policeman uh, sloshed after him, pushing fish and toy boats aside. He nearly caught, uh, he nearly caught up with the swimming pup. Uh, when he st uh, stumbled backward, flap, uh, flapping his arms widely and plunged into the pond with the greatest splash of all. Kerstrush, uh, <laughs> of uh, disaster, catastrophe. Uh, Woo, I get that out in a second. Catastrophe, disaster. All those nearby were hit by uh, the deluge. Meanwhile, Nipper uh, scrambled onto the bank. He shook off, he shook himself uh, from head to toe, thoroughly soaking everyone again. Nipper, you little devil, spluttered the, uh, spluttered the tall lady. If I didn't love you so, I would have to arrest you for disturbing the peace. That afternoon, everyone used Marie's covert for a towel. <coughs> With a smile, the nursemaid told the tall lady, uh, too bad he wasn't wearing his rain costume. The lady agreed, too bad we weren't all wearing rain costumes. The uh, bedraggled, uh, be bedraggled policeman was wringing out his socks. Mercy, Bicoop, uh, Nipper, he said. I haven't had such a refreshing bath in years. The tall lady scooped her little dog uh, tenderly. Wet as they both were, they exchanged even wetter kisses. That evening at supper, uh, Suzette, now crisp and fresh, was eager to tell about the day's events, but her parents had far uh, more exciting news to report. The following day, they told her a dear friend of Uncle Edgar's was coming to start painting. Uh, her, uh, was coming to start painting her portrait. Suzette blushed with pleasure, ever so surprised, but not uh, nearly as surprised as she was that the next morning. Because who should arrive at the door carrying a sketchbook and pastels? None other than the tall lady from the park, and with her little nipper. I've hoped. Uh, to do your portrait ever since I first saw you last winter, uh, the artist explained. I am truly honored, Suzette uh, declared, just as Mama and Papa had told her to say. Then she uh, uh, begged, please come, uh, but please, uh, uh, can Nipper be in the picture too? That was the beginning of what became a beautiful painting. It was called A Little Girl in a Blue Armchair, and now hangs in a, a famous American museum. Perhaps you wonder why the little girl and the, and the tiny dog look so bored. Clearly, they would rather uh, be playing in the park. Little Girl in a Blue Armchair, 1878, when it was painted. Uh, is uh, the beautiful Mary Cassatt painting featuring Suzette and Nipper. In this study, they really do seem to wish for another adventure in the park rather than posing for a portrait. This is the collection of Mr. and Miss Paul uh, Mellon. Uh, in 2000, the board trustees of the National Gallery of Art in Washington. 
the tall lady in the story is modeled after the celebrated American artist Mary Cassatt. Among the best of the American Expressionists, uh, she is considered the outstanding woman painter of the 19th century. Her best-known works portray affluent women in social settings and mothers with small children. Born to a wealthy Pennsylvania family in 1844, she attended the Academy for Fine Arts in Philadelphia. She went to Europe to continue her studies by copying old masters in the major museums there and settled in Paris in 1872. Her work attracted the admiration of the French artist Edward Degas, who invited her to join the Impressionist group. Little Girl in a Blue Armchair, Suzette in the story, was the daughter of friends of Degas. The uh, Griffin Terrier nipper in the story was a gift from Degas to Cassatt, and Degas even helped to paint the background of, his, of this picture. As in the story, the real nipper had a fashionable wardrobe, including a raincoat. Cassatt urged her American friends to acquire Impressionist art and was influenced by promoting its popularity in the United States. She died in France in 1926. Hope you enjoyed the book, Suzette and the Puppy, a story about Mary Cassatt. Thank <laughs> you.